Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. We're gonna put uh, put a little extra clown, a little extra clown into our uh, our video today. We're not talking about ourselves. We are not. Uh, we're talking about Reddit and uh, on on uh, our white people Twitter. They are complaining that YouTubers they think are right wing like Godzilla minus one and why this is problematic. Yes, this because is. you know you're you're all right because like Godzilla, they're basically because they're mad that Wish and the Marvels aren't doing well, so they're basically pulling in Alita versus Captain Marvel, but now it's the Marvels versus Godzilla. In reality, it's it's people like this on Reddit versus the rest of the whole damn world. I mean, the people like the crazies versus the rational people. Yeah, pretty much. So we're we're gonna talk about this because this movie is is doing very very well. Uh, critically, and I believe commercially. I have not seen it yet. We're going tomorrow. Yeah, so. we were going to, you were going to take Squid Game. Squid King, but clarify, huge Kaiju fan. Since oh, the, the child was like three, that has been Godzilla crazy. And the, he could look at a, a toenail or a scale or like an edge of something. And he would know everything about the monster and which one it was. That and Ultraman loves it. Um, he wanted to go for the fan event that was like last Wednesday, but we couldn't because we had other, we had another appointment we had to do, so he couldn't. So they're going tomorrow because we couldn't get in there until then. Yeah, he's so very, he's been very he's been waiting and he's very upset. It's taken this long. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. I think he. We've been longtime years. Godzilla fans. Like we ex we exposed our children to Godzilla when they were little. Like they like they love this stuff. You, you know, expose them to other things. Clownfish. It's, it's, it's not because they're alt right whatever. It's just, it's just hilarious to me. Oh, God. So we're going to look at this thread because this is just, I, I that fell on my chair. I mean, I should be surprised. I, I, I can't believe that people like this exist in the real world. Like, I've never met people more ridiculous than some of the people on Reddit, on Twitter. Twitter. And it's like, I, I, I don't know where they live because... Like, I, I can't picture people like this functioning day to day. It's like one of those hidden camera shows. You're looking for the camera, like, okay, yeah, where's the, yeah, where's the camera? You're, come out and tell me you're, you're, you're pranking us, right? No, what? these people are legitimately sincere. They are this stupid. What, what scares me, though, is, like, I've seen some really, really bad takes like this from people that we've actually met at comic book conventions and stuff. And I'm like, you seem normal in real life. Probably are normal real life when you're on the keyboard. And no one's you're not face to face with people. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's let, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, this is coming from Reddit. Oh boy. Oh yeah. When you say Reddit, I'm immediately like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, far right YouTubers fail to see the point of a Godzilla movie challenge. Impossible. What's the challenge? I, I, I don't know what the challenge to Godzilla movie pod. Basically, they're saying they, they took the wrong message from it. Gary from Nerd Roddick took the wrong message. Um, good stories bring people together. So let me get this straight because Gary from Nerd Roddick di didn't get the message according to these people. It's all far right. It's all the far right YouTubers. Yeah, this is kind of the same thing with, you know, we talked about the Alita situation before. That's what it reminds know, me and, of. And yeah, but uh, let's look at what they have here. So this is Kaiju Reaper. I'm sorry, but that is the stupidest take you could ever have involving uh, Godzilla Minus One, a film that's successful because of its perfectly perfectly balanced of an emotional message and terrifying thrills. What? I don't understand. I don't think his message divides good stories bring people together. I don't... Basically, I think what he's, basically, he's saying, like, Disney's been pushing the message. That's what I think he's saying. The message. I don't think he's saying anything message. about the stupid movie. I think he's just like, you got all these other movies that are dividing people, but Godzilla's bringing them back together. That's how I took of what he's saying. So I'm thinking that the OP is probably this guy who's pissed off that he didn't get more traction. Oh, I'm sorry, they didn't get more traction on Twitter, so they go start a Reddit thread. I've, I've run into people like that before. They're like, it didn't go anywhere on Twitter, but I, I guess, you know, because the alt-right run, run, runs uh, Twitter now, so I, I, I think if I go to Reddit, okay. if this I go to one, Reddit, I'll get some. Okay, this little bitch. Let me have a <laughs> hey, Kaiju Reaper, okay? First of all, hi, I'm geeky, fuck you. Um, your comment here, side note, it's funny how these guys never pay any attention to any show or film unless it either beats some woke film, which I don't even use the term woke, I don't like using it, or it becomes woke. Suddenly they're experts and start talking like they know what the franchise is about. I'm talking about Doctor Who, too. Grab your ass, Kaiju. Um, it's going to get stomped. Here's the thing. But I don't. I can't speak to, to other people. But I, I'm pretty sure Gary has been a doctor who has watched Doctor Who before and has commented in the past. I uh, can tell you for a fucking fact that we watch Doctor Who as a family. Every time there's a new episode, 
Up until Capaldi, then you, we lost the kids on that one. I made it through most of Capaldi, and by the time we got to the latest, you know, incarnations, we're, we were out. We used to watch it every, you know, week as a family. It was a family event. Up until then, we were catch up on the back stuff. We'd watch it all together, like every night, okay? My son dressed up as the doctor with his friend to go to the conventions. He had sonic screwdrivers and asked for them for Christmas, okay? We were big fans of Godzilla, probably before your little bitch ass was born. <laughs> and then my kids were like, you know, they grew up playing all the time. My son had all the Godzilla games, all the video games, all the movies. He has the steel books of like, you know, whenever they have Godzilla or Ultraman, he has them. He, he's like huge fan, huge kaiju collection. Oh my God, yeah. Didn't just comment or care about it because it didn't agree with your fucking opinion. Plus you're also a dumbass who has no reading comprehension because what he was saying clearly wasn't saying that the message was divided on the Godzilla film. He's saying that the, that the movies are out there dividing people but Godzilla is uniting people. That's what he was saying. It was pretty clear. You know, reading is fundamental. Anyway, I'm sorry. You may go on. All right, so let's. So this person here seemed confused. Uh, wait, any context to this? I don't quite follow what happened. Far right YouTubers are happy because Toho's Godzilla minus one is beating both Disney's Wish and the Marvels at the box office because they think Disney is woke. Bit ironic though, as those same chuds fail to realize that Godzilla minus one is anti-American and also anti-Russian. Funnily enough. Well, yeah, because it's Japanese. Anti-war. You, you, anti yeah, 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 do not. You understand that they're not from, you know, America, and that's why, you know, I, I, I'm not surprised by this. It's Japanese, for fuck's sake. And why is everybody a chud? You don't agree with me? I'm not in the chud. <laughs> yeah, people are happy that Marvel and Wish are, are failing. Well, not so much happy as I think it's more that we kept telling you people it was going to fail, yeah. and no one would listen. I'm not happy they're failing, especially Wish, because I wanted it to be good. But I'm more upset about the fact, I mean, what gets me is the fact that we kept telling you guys this isn't going to work the way you want it to for a number of reasons. And very and little of it had to do with women, you know, in, being in the, in the marbles. And you, you didn't do well. So it's like, yeah, see, we told you. And now Godzilla, well, yet again, another movie like Barbie or something that came out of the blue is kicking its ass. Demon Slayer did it from Japan before. Kicking ass. That's what Godzilla, because of course Godzilla's going to kick ass. It's God flipping Zilla. It's like. Godzilla versus Bambi, but I don't want to talk about that. No, I don't want to. No. So this person's like, it's not really anti-American. It's more anti-nuclear proliferation, anti-military yeah. industrial complex, and anti-censorship. Oh, my God. It uses the post-World War II Soviet-American relations as a backdrop to show military power holds nothing to the power of God. Well, I guess that, that makes sense. A very Japanese thing. But not just that. I mean, they're not going <laughs> to, I mean, post-World War II. Of course, they're going to target America. Post World War II, they they were pissed at us after World War II. I mean, not that I blame them. Still doesn't change the fact that Trumpanzees are getting excited over a kaiju movie that they're completely missing the context of, all because Disney woke or some fascist shit like that. As a Godzilla fan, I feel a little conflicted. You're here. not a Godzilla fan. You're so, just a little bitch trying to own up the chuds. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So now you're gonna be like, I can't like Godzilla anymore because Gary from Nerdrotic likes Godzilla but and he's a the, Nazi. But they're mad because they, they, they think he said something he didn't say. He didn't say and it. And they're like, they're like. He's like, just, just make a movie. You know, it can have, you can good. have a message that's good. And you guess know? what? It's diverse. <laughs> Hot damn. Probably no, not a whole lot of white people in it. Trump pansies. Trump pansies. Trump pansies. Well, you got Bidenitis, I guess. I don't know. What the, what the hell? Trump pansies. And then the thing is, you know, all the alt right YouTubers. So we're going to be, you know, we get labeled all the time. And the joke's on them because we aren't even Republican. God, they're so stupid. Oh, God. So they go on, they're basically like going on anti-American. Look, look, this is a Japanese movie, uh, predominantly for Japanese audiences. They just happen to bring it out over right. here. They're, 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 they're yeah, making you know. a movie for their target demographic, which you're allowed to do in Japan. You're sorry, allowed to do it for Amer in America. So, yeah, this kind of reminds me of Shin Godzilla, too. They, they actually... They bring the Americans into again. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going tomorrow. But uh, Shin Godzilla, they bring the Americans in too, and they're actually working with the Americans to try to well, stop Godzilla. Well, that's what it says. Yeah, he said, said it's yeah, it anti-American. They're super, super nice, nice about, about it. it. Kind of took me out when a recurring thought was maybe the Americans can help. That was more about collective trauma than anti-whatever state. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. They didn't give the Americans enough flack. They paid about as much attention to how the empire expected the poor to kill themselves for no reason. 
Oh my god. Does this dipshit show up again after people own him? <laughs> They've done this with a lot of inherently left-leaning media. Star Wars and Rage Against the Machine are perfect examples. Wait, 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 wait. I thought and you Star just got Trek. Done, I thought you just got done saying that's not woke. No, but, but, but no, they're, they're, they're inherently left-leaning media. <laughs> God. Thing is, Star Trek and Star Wars, yes, have always been uh, had political undertones and had the message. The difference was the classic ones were, uh, I would argue, were uh, intellectually elevated, and they did it with with uh, you know finesse. Like they get a message across and be entertaining and learn you and be entertaining and not not you know get rid of half their audience because because they, they're Trump pansies. They were smart enough and, and you know, clever enough to tell a good story with diverse characters and good message, but make it that it was entertaining for everyone and that maybe someone would learn something. Because the funny thing, if you just scream at somebody and you keep pounding the message into their head, it's not going to change their stance. It's actually going to probably make them go the other way. But if yeah. you do it in a nice, good story way, it might make them stop and think, oh, wow, that's a point. I never thought about it that way. It's like trying to get somebody to see your point of view versus screaming at them and just telling them what to do. That, that's kind of the difference. And, and uh, you know, I was trying to explain. Well, I just scream at them and tell them what to do. <laughs> Usually go fuck themselves. Uh, yeah, that seems to be a very popular phrase. Yeah, uh, these I've days. been saying it for a while. But like I was explaining this Squid King about, you know, Star Trek Next Generation, the difference back then, it's always been pretty liberal. But the difference back then is that they would show you a lot of times both sides of an argument. Um, sometimes it was very obvious what the writer's perspective was sometimes they would realize that the good guys aren't the good guys or actually the bad guys, but they thought they were the good guys. You know, sometimes they would take the bad guys side in things. A lot of times they present both sides of an, of an argument. If it was a very complicated situation, uh, sometimes things were gray. You know, there's no, there's no nuance. There's no discussion with a lot of the modern media, especially a lot of these franchises today. It's very heavy handed. Preacher. Yeah, and they wonder, they wonder why people don't like it, why people don't come to these movies, and why they just stop coming. You read these comments, they're like, go back up for a minute. They're like, the only people who were mad about Rage Against the Machine, which I wasn't even paying attention to, didn't even care. They think Bruce, Bruce Springsteen's born in the USA is about a great America is. Yeah, Good stories not. bring people together is such an infantile view of art in general. This would mean anything thought-provoking or controversial is bad. Well, you guys don't want thought-provoking or controversial. Thought-provoking would imply that it makes you think without having to slam it down your throat. You just want being you want to lecture people and then tell them that's what it is. The problem is what reason people are going to see this movie and so the other movies is because they don't feel like they're being lectured to. They get the message. They understand the message. It stays true to what Godzilla is and how always has been for decades. It's when you're getting what you're expecting. And it's a really good movie, apparently. I, I, I love this. Now, I don't know if Jurgen von Arkel <laughs> is, is telling the truth or not, but we always get this. We always get this. I used to watch that guy, but as he started degrading more and more into anti-woke and eventually began to recommend alt-right websites, I was out of there. We get, we literally had people saying about us, and we are, we are probably like some of the most milk toast freaking YouTubers in the commentary space, right? We had people being like, because of clownfish TV, I was pointed to the alt-right and I can blame my slide into the alt-right and it's all their fault. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You didn't watch our videos. You didn't watch our videos. But here's Enrique again. How much do you want to bet that, that if Godzilla Minus One was released in July alongside Sound of Freedom, the MAGA chuds would have a meltdown of our kaiju movie and beating their shitty QAnon movie. Didn't see Sound of Freedom. I, I don't give a shit. I, I, I didn't really don't. see it. I can't watch it because the, the subject matter is something that I, I personally cannot do. I just can't do it. It upsets me too much. But, you know, I don't understand the big problem is if Godzilla Modest 1 is doing really well and people really like it and they went to see it and they all are saying how good it is. I don't understand what the fucking problem is. If you're a kaiju fan, you're like, you're not just some you know little bitch on here whining. Then you would be like, yay, everybody's liking what I like. Yay, it's gonna do really good. Maybe we'll get more of this. Maybe they'll get a wider release. Yay! But no, you're pissed because people you don't like like it. <laughs> That's your takeaway. So like, I don't even like they bring up the Daily Wire. Like, I don't even watch. I don't even watch the Daily Wire. I have no idea. They, I have people are asking my thoughts on the Daily Wire. I'm like, I, I really, literally have no thoughts on them. I don't care. I don't watch it. Um, this this one here. Clearly, they haven't seen the shore the toe put up a few years ago where Godzilla Junior came out as trans. I yeah. don't know. Don't is care. that a thing? Really? That might. I don't. know. Who knows? Uh, remember that was from Toho's official English Twitter page. Okay, it's the Godzilla. official English Twitter page. That explains so much. I got to see this coming out. Happy pride.
Wait. Wait, he's gay because he watches he's Stellar watching Jupiter? Sailor Moon. Wait, what? Wait, he's gay because he likes Sailor Moon? I know a lot of straight guys who like Sailor Moon. Just saying. Wait, what's what he, he doing, doing in bed? He doing Wait, he just bed? watched Sailor Jupiter. What's he doing? Dad, I got something to tell I want to be Sailor Jupiter. What the hell? Oh, this is squeaky. He'll think it's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, he's having a heart to heart with Godzilla. If he wears a Sailor Moon outfit, oh. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Uh, yes, yes. Because yes. if he's gonna do it, he should no. go Sailor Saturn all the way. I'm. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, that explains. Oh, okay. I love you anyway, which is what a parent should do. That's what a parent should do. And I'm sorry. I mean, I feel bad for the people out there who, whose parents are really shitty to them. And I don't think you should be shitty to people, uh, you know, unless they're shitty first. Oh, my, oh my God. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. I didn't see this. I actually didn't see. Oh, my God. Why? Why do more people not like uh, I'd never seen this? So this is, of course, their English like <laughs> page. Anyway. That being said, uh, don't watch The Daily Wire. It's now the wrong time to say I thought God's God, – this is nothing against trans people at all because I have friends that are trans. This is nothing against them. I always found Godzilla Jr. annoying though. Couldn't they have picked yeah. a better character? Well, couldn't they have gone with a better character for that? So so the 1998 Godzilla, right, the really bad one, was Godzilla – was Godzilla a chick because Godzilla was laying eggs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, I'm sorry. I was reading comments. I was and, listening. And Shin Godzilla has people growing Payback. out of its ass. I'm just like, they're like, we must doctor who not woke. The thing is. <sighs> wait, wait. It was about solving <laughs> problems yes, peacefully, peacefully with, with logic. logic. That means you're woke? Yeah, apparently. I'm like, it was Why always. Does... That's the fact that they don't understand. They keep equating finesse. And, you know, being, you know, being with host a good story with good characters that happen to be diverse and get the message across in a way that, you know, made people think and, and nuanced is the same thing as being like, did you get the message? Did you get the message, bitch? Did you get the message? That's right. You get the message. Take the message. Why don't you like my movie? It's like when you're beat up all the time. You don't want to go back to the abuser. So I, I think the thing that, that gets me about this is everybody thinks they're the hero of their own story, right? The people that proudly proclaim that they're the good guys and they want you to know they're the good guys and they will beat you over the head with the fact that they're the good moral people. Only they're allowed to like Godzilla. Only they're allowed to like Godzilla. Well, like, fuck you. Oh, boy. And all this attitude does, all this bullshit does is make people that are, you know, on their side or that, you know, lean towards their way politically move further and further and further away. That is the truth. Um, and yeah. avoid them. Yeah, that is actually what happens. I hate to break it to you, but what happens is, you know, the goalpost gets moved. Um, there are a lot of people who are against the cancel culture and, you know, uh, far left activists kind of commandeering pop culture and trying to get people canceled and all that jazz. And they're not Trump supporters, uh, you know, just because you, case in point, us, you know, just because just because we don't like this kind of bullshit and nonsense and screaming and yelling doesn't mean that, you know, we're, we're yeah. uh, far we, right. We also mm -hmm. say the same thing. We also, we also say this, though, and we've said this, and if you've watched our channel, it, you have extremes on both sides. And yep. if you go either way, either extreme, I don't think it works. It doesn't matter if you go to the extreme left or the extreme right. Like, you know, I, I think if you're just doing the exact, you, you said it the other day, if you're just doing the, they're trying to own the chud and you're trying to own the libs, you're doing the exact same thing. People are just dumb. Here we have, I mean, it just goes on and on. Look, it's Reddit, right? I had to unfollow the critical drinker. You always okay. get these people I'm sure wild. I'm sure he's heartbroken. I'm sure he is with his 1.9. So there's a new Godzilla movie? What? 1.9 million subscribers. I'm sure the critical drinker now, misses you very much. Because yes. it's just the alt-right who like this movie. That's why, uh, or no, I'm sorry. They're mad because the alt-right like it too. That's why the uh, Rotten Tomato scores are really good. Like between critic and audiences, they're high. The yeah. scores are high, which means everybody likes this movie across the board. Guess what? Does This is a Japanese movie. They don't give two shits whether you're Republican or Democrat. No, they don't care. Like, it's so myopic. I mean, all the way around, isn't it? Right? They, I know. They're just, like, losing like, their shit about well, YouTubers because how, how dare they say that it's good because everybody likes it, unites people because it doesn't have message. Do, do you think the Japanese studios give a shit about YouTubers one way or the other? I don't no. think they do. 
I don't think they give don't a shit about they, little whiners on Reddit either. Do they, they give a shit about Reddit? I don't think they do. They get the, they give a shit about it is when the West keeps trying to tell them how they should or shouldn't do their anime and movies and all that oh, yeah, stuff, yeah. which, you know, Absolutely. usually that leans one way. But we're seeing, yeah, across the board, the, across the political spectrum, people unanimously, uh, seemingly love. Which is what movie, I think so. his point was. Yeah. It's not dividing people like other movies have been doing right. recently. It's actually uniting people, which is a good thing. And even though it has a message, it's not doing it in such a way, apparently. Most that Godzilla is movies do. Dividing. Yeah, Godzilla. It's like it's all about the horrors of nuclear war. I mean, I'm that's like, every if Godzilla movie. you watch Godzilla movies, you know that. Like, for fuck's sake. Like, like, you're looking for stuff to be, like, it's basically a bunch of little whining bitches who are mad because they're mad because either their movies that they wanted to succeed didn't succeed. Or they're mad because how do they like what I like? Because they're not allowed to like it because they're terrible that, people. So we're going to start a whole thread talking about how they're terrible people. And they're not allowed to like what we like. So that. Get, keep Godzilla. Oh, my God. I know. It, this is ridiculous. That, that's exactly it. That's what they want to do. But I don't think it's going to work. I mean, there's too many. I think at this no, point. it's not going to work. They just look stupid. I think at this point, it's like, you know, you want to talk about people on the right being a vocal minority and screaming in the void or whatever. They're doing it on the left now. These they, people would definitely be those people. They used to have a lot more say. And I think when you had people like this that had control of digital media, which is crumbling, and they had control of Twitter, which is burning down in real time, you know. Now they have Reddit, which that might not be around much longer either, the way things are going, because they're they're really trying to uh, uh, control the cash flow a little bit. You know, they're running out of places, platforms to to bitch and moan to make it seem like a lot. Oh, they're more not gonna go upset. make their own. They they don't they have the skill own. set or no. they they drive. They just wanna you know park their asses in warm seats wherever they can. Yeah, so next year's going to be really interesting uh, talking about... Uh, oh, God, it's going to be horrible next year. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm even like, do I want it? But the money I... will probably be good. The money will be great. I mean, the money is going to be fan-fucking-tastic because there's going to be all kinds of political ads. But my God, it's going to be absolutely insane. But there we go, guys. Um, yeah, you're if you're on the left, you can't like Godzilla because some right-wing YouTubers... Yeah, no, like no, it. you can like it, but the right shouldn't like it <laughs> because, right you know, like they're, they have to How discredit they? them. The but right took Godzilla mad. from They're them. also mad about, you know, Marvels and, and Wish not doing well. Holy I'm like, hell. I bet you guys didn't drag your asses to see those movies either. All right, let's wrap this one up. This is too much stupid And guess for what? We're doing a Doctor Who one too, Kaiju. You know, grab your ass. It's coming. Wait, what? What's coming in their ass? My foot? Okay. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I just got that. Yeah, okay. Spread those yeah. cheeks. My foot's coming. I don't have foot. a penis. Sorry. Foot. I, oh, I right. can't. I, okay, let's wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.